So before I run the final test, there's a couple of things I forgot to mention here. Um, and this, the first one is very important because it'll throw you, well, both are pretty important. They'll both throw errors at your way. So in here under the auto arm rig, I copy and pasted essentially this code to query the selection of the option menus. And you see I use those as the naming options for the joints here. The issue is, is I use the selection flag, which um, refers to the numbering of the selected here. Um, it refers to the numbered selected. It doesn't actually refer to the text. So um, I forgot to change that here. So instead of SL equals true for selection, I put V for value. And what this will do for both these option menus is it will give me the text of the selected instead of the number of the selected. So that way it'll ensure that these come out as strings and not integer numbers. The other thing I have to run here is um, I didn't create the uh, global variables for the FK setup. So I did it for the IK setup, but I forgot to put it for the FK setup. So we need to make some global variables here for some of what we have in here. So I need the joints, so FK joints. And then the only other thing I'm really going to need here is just the pad, the FK1 pad, because I use that for the visibility switch. And that's all I'm really going to need here. So once I have those two things in there, the rest of this should run, so pretty sure. Just double check to make sure I saved it. So let's go test this out. So we've got the script here. Let's make the preset controls. Let's move this one out. Let's move the hand icon down. We'll scale all these a little bit. Something like that. And we'll finalize the arm, and that'll do it. So we have the IK control here set up, moving. We have the pull vector working there. We have this switch, so it moves the FK. So we have the FK icons here. They seem to be working. Um, and that seems to be it. So if I wanted to, I could go back before I run that, check just to make sure the twist works. I finalize the arm here. So we got the IK control here. And we got the pull vector twist working there. So that looks good. So let's test a few other things. Let's just test this in IK. So we'll finalize the arm here. So there's no hand control. There's no FK control. This is all working. So I've got the twist there, so that looks good. And I'll just check it in FK as well. So we'll finalize. There we go. And the FK. So all the rig systems are working. Um, and that's what we're looking for. So that is some basic auto rigging. Now again, my way is not, it may not necessarily be the best way, um, it's not the only way, that's for sure. There are plenty of ways to go about auto-rigging. I just like to show my steps and how I go through my rigging process. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or come talk to me. Um, hope you enjoyed the videos.